Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Sufjan Stevens record, Javelin. This is a brand new album from singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, composer, Mr. Sufjan Stevens. It is his 10th solo LP, and it's proving to be a fan favorite pretty quickly, and it's not hard to see why. First off, there's been a large outpouring of love and support for the record uh, that's coincided with some pretty tragic announcements from from Stevens. He is currently on a slow recovery from a shocking diagnosis of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Plus, this record is also said to be a tribute to his late partner, Evans Richardson. Fans only came to learn of him recently through this announcement, as Stevens has been very consistent about keeping his private life private over the years. So, obviously, this is pretty heavy information, and I understand as a result many fans and critics will purely view the album uh, through the lens of these events. But it's also important to note that this record, intentionally or not, artistically speaking, is a serious return to form for Stevens. Not to imply he ever fell off creatively, though. It's just that it's been almost 20 years since he dropped many of the grand and ornate folk albums that made him an indie darling in the first place, and since then, Stevens's musical whims have taken him some other places. Into compositions, into art pop, into ambient music. He's gone deeper into electronic music and come through with some interesting collaborations, too. All while maintaining some of the most distinct characteristics of his sound, you could say. But conversely, Javelin feels like home, in the best way. This record is a 10-track run of plucky, warm, rustic folk instrumentation, covered with lavish layers of group vocals, of stunning arrangements, and orchestral hits that are occasionally enhanced tastefully, I might add, with electronics and some heavier beats. I am reminded of some of Sufjan's post-2000s output that uh, kind of nodded in this direction again, like 2010's All Delighted People EP, or the more elaborate instrumental presentations he brought to all of the Carrie and Lowell material in the live setting. So, like those moments, Javelin is the real Sufjan deal uh, right from the start. The opener Goodbye Evergreen, which is a somber piano ballad that lyrically is maybe the most direct address that Stephen has to his late partner on the record, and the way his passing made him reflect on loss and fear and the fragility of his own life. There's also this cathartic and dissonant, shrill rush of instrumentation that comes after the line, Deliver me from the poison pain, which is a hideous but also beautiful release of all these complicated feelings around, obviously, this very difficult time. And between all the calls of goodbye evergreen, you know I love you, this is just an absolutely devastating send-off, followed by this droning bed of instrumentation that gracefully transforms transitions into uh, something that feels more like a, a jubilee of woodwinds and rhythms. It's like we've suddenly moved into this celebration of his partner's memory and the love they shared, and it's seriously an emotional roller coaster in that sense. Now, this track effectively leads us into the track A Running Start, which seems to rewind to a time when this love that Stevens is singing about uh, was more fresh or at the peak of intensity and whimsy. There's a lot of beautiful and vivid imagery in the lyrics, as it feels like Stevens is trying to tell a story and process his emotions around all of this in kind of a non-linear fashion. And I'm definitely here for it, especially when it leads to these dazzling instrumental ascents like we get at the end of this track, too. The emotional tone kind of shifts and some dread sets in with the track Will Anybody Ever Love Me, which I think is as sincere a question can get on this record. Stevens asks that this love be for good reason and not for sport, and also contrasts this uh, with the verse lyrics that display a lot of violent imagery and almost martyrdom, maybe a display of what it feels like to go on without this kind of love or what he'll put up with to get it. Everything That Rises is another one of Stevens' many intimate musical monologues that take kind of a religious angle, asking Jesus on this track that he be lifted up and not cast into hell, and going on to say that everything that rises must converge, which I think is his way of showing that he's accepting the eventual finality of everything. Meanwhile, Jen Genuflecting Ghost also seeks to find some kind of peace and solace in prayer, but also maybe this spectral connection, too. It's not the strongest tune or instrumental progression on the record, but aesthetically, it is genuinely beautiful, and it really nails that textured fusion of live and electronic instrumentation that I've often felt torn about on records like Age of Odds, which obviously at this point is like a Stevens classic. Regardless, though, I'm far more enchanted by the gentle piano arpeggios all over my Red Little Fox, which 
which makes a mystifying combo with Stevens's trademark doubled up hushed lead vocals. This track also arrives to one of the best finales of any song here with the chorus vocals and sparkling metallic melodies taking on kind of a wintry vibe. Then there's also So You Are Tired, which was another single in the lead up to this album. Loved it when I first heard it, and now that I have more context about the record, it hits even harder, as the story is very much about one partner kind of growing tired of the other, with Stevens wondering if things have reached this point, what was all of this for? And what brought it here? Not to mention he's understandably confused and upset over this change of heart, but still feels in love to some degree. And I can't say I've ever heard a track from Stevens that sounded simultaneously so defeated, but also uh, so cinematic and gorgeous, especially as it reaches the crescendo around the bridge. Now, the record's final three tracks all kind of work together in tandem to make a final statement for the LP. Javelin, the title track of the record, is a short acoustic piece, which is loaded with this haunting and deep regret over rash and maybe angry decisions or actions uh, that may have been engaged in. And while it's not entirely clear as to why he is reflecting on it in this way, was it just a point in time that he wished he avoided, just didn't happen? Uh, was it something that was left unresolved? Or was it uh, an ugly ending to everything? Either way, the sentiment of the track and the fact that he's still holding on to this is very clear. And this shorter track sets us up effectively for the following shit talk, where Stevens is rejecting the fighting, the conflict, the tension, the static, and embracing love instead. There's also a very strange vibrato on his voice, which is oddly weary and smoky on this track too. Eventually through this we reach the grandest peak of instrumentation on the entire project, which emphasizes these refrains of I don't want to fight at all, I will always love you. And honestly, the peak this song reaches uh, emotionally and instrumentally it's indescribable you really just have to experience it for yourself but I will say he coasts down from it wonderfully with this thick and powerful wall of instrumentation that is incredibly immersive which brings us to the closer there's a world which is a, a short hopeful acoustic afterthought about everyone being an individual who has a role and a part to play in this world uh, that we're all God's children and it's actually a cover of a Neil Young song but uh, clearly Stevens has taken some very huge musical and instrumental liberties in his version and is essentially kind of taking the, the message of the original track and just kind of making it work uh, in the context of what he's saying in this record here. Which is fair and I appreciate the effort to repurpose it here because it does work. I will say overall Javelin, while it may not be Stevens's most large scale holistic or grandiose effort, it's still a deeply moving and personal record uh, that sees him really working from a point of strength with stunning arrangements, with touching singer-songwriter tunes, and lyrics that see him working through some of life's toughest obstacles, which is exactly what continues to make him such an inspiration for many artistically and personally. And with records like this, that will continue to be the case uh, for years to come. I'm feeling a decent two strong nine on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe, and please don't cry, hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Sufjan Stevens, Javelin, Forever.